Hey guys, welcome. So, UFOs, free energy and over unity devices. So, one of the most exciting things about the coming extraterrestrial contact is the idea of the technology that they will be able to bring to our reality. So, I guess this is one of the reasons, well, I don't know what all the reasons, I just follow my higher self and my guidance and my calling, but one of the remarkable things about what extraterrestrial contact will bring to this reality is the idea that the ET craft do not run on Exxon Valdez, Exxon Valdez? Ex <laughs> I'm not sure, do not run on jet fuel, they do not run on petrochemical hydrocarbon based fuel systems, they do not need to drill crude oil out of the earth to run their ships. I don't know how I don't know how their ships run, but I'm fairly certain they don't run on crude oil or petrol. And the fact that they have the ability to teleport to do all these fantastic maneuvers shows that there's a highly advanced technology in them. And it seems that these ships run on some kind of higher technology that is able to extract energy from the zero point field. It's sometimes called zero point energy. The idea because the idea is that every like tiny little space of um, like this little bit of space, air just there in front of my nose, that bit of air there, according to the latest physics calculations, contains enough energy to run this planet for 100 years or something like that. There's masses and masses of energy in every space in the universe. But as humans, at least um, according to mainstream science and what the TV tells us, we do not know how to tap that energy. And so there's a lot of movement in um, the ufology circles and circles outside of mainstream science and mainstream media that's controlled by the petrochemical petrodollar industry to create what's called an over unity device, a, a zero point energy device or a free energy device. And it seems that a lot of people have had breakthroughs towards this, but it's being suppressed and stamped down by the um, petrochemical industry because they don't want to lose their money that supports their wars and their empires and um, their governments and all their stuff. So, so one of the reasons why I am so excited to get this truth out there that we are being visited by extraterrestrials in these interdimensional hyperspace traveling ships of extremely high technology that are thousands and perhaps millions of years ahead of us in some cases is that they will be able to end like all poverty in reality they will be able to end and begin the rene regeneration possibly with other technologies of all the pollution in our planet and it is essential for the survival of the human race that we go beyond petrochemical survival, beyond the petrodollar reality that we live in. And so when we can come to a place where we can agree as humans that we want to move forward with extraterrestrial contact in a peaceful manner without chasing them by fighter jets or aiming space-based weapons or whatever we do to the UFOs that currently come into our reality which is completely disgraceful because these are positive love light oriented beings that are here to help us and scrambling fighter jets and chasing them off is not the way to move forward. So this is one of the reasons I'm excited to encourage humanity to come together in peace and unity to invite the extraterrestrials in our reality so that we can have a better reality and we don't need to kill each other and chop each other's heads off and start wars with lies about towers falling down and all this nonsense. We can have an epic reality when we come together in unity and peace and love because when we come together in unity and peace and love the extraterrestrials will be willing to embrace us and perhaps at some point share their over unity devices that can solve all of earth problems in the blink of an eye. Shivai. Have a good day, Earth humans. Bye-bye.